So our mathematician that we chose was John Wallace, who was born December 3rd, 1616, and died November 8th, 1703. So he died at the age of 86. He was born in Ashford, Kent, England. Some historic events that occurred during John Wallace's lifetime were the Thirty Years' War, which began in 1618 and then ended in 1648. The Civil War began in 1642. This took place in England and Wales between the Royalists and Parliamentarians. In 1665, the plague began in London. And then in 1666, the city of London was destroyed by the Great Fire. John Wallace received his bachelor's and master's degree regarding math. Um, the internet wasn't too specific, but he received those two degrees in 1640 at the University of Cambridge. John Wallace married Susanna Glynde in 1645, and they stayed married until she died in 1687. They had three children together, Elizabeth Wallace, Anne Wallace, who later married and became Anne Blenko, and John Wallace. So John Wallace had quite a few um, occupations, but his first one was that he was ordained a priest in 1640, right after he got his degrees. And then at the beginning of his real mathematician activity was 1649, where he was appointed to be a professor of geometry at the University of Oxford. John Wallace had many calculus um, and overall mathematical contributions. He had a focus on algebra, which was unique for his time because most people um, focused on geometry um, specific discoveries and using that to back up your discoveries. He introduced the um, infinity symbol to represent the concept of infinity. He is given partial credit to the development of infinitesimal calculus, so once again the concept of infinity. And then he's also responsible for extending the Calvieri's quadrat formula. This allows you to compute the integral of a polynomial, which is very important for calculus. And then he also coined the term momentum and was the first to demonstrate the use of negative and fractional exponents. So two, entry, two interesting events from his life was uh, December 1630, John moved to a new school at the age of 14 where they didn't teach any math. Um, so over winter break, his younger brother would show him math and he found it so interesting that he just started learning it on his own. Another thing is in 1645, he had two math best friends whom he would uh, meet with weekly to discuss medicine, math, and astronomy, which led to creating the Royal Society. John Wallace's most famous quote is, whereas nature does not admit of more than three dimensions, it may justly seem very improper to talk of a solid drawn into a fourth, fifth, sixth, or even further dimension.